windmills very much. I've studied it better than anybody. I know it's very expensive. They're made in China and Germany mostly. Very few made here, almost none. Tremendous fumes, gases are spewing into the atmosphere. You know, we have a world, right? So the world is tiny compared to the universe. Fumes are spewing into the air, right? It's spewing. Whether it's in China, Germany, it's going into the air. It's our air, their air, everything, right? So they make these things. And then they put them up. And if you own a house within vision of some of these monsters, uh, your house is worth 50% of the price. There are two reasons I do not like salad. One, it's salad. Two, when I was 17, I got a retail job at a shopping center. Can I brag? It was Apple. And on my first lunch break, I thought, hey, look, new year, new job, new me. Why don't I try something new for lunch, like a bloody salad? So I ordered a Cobb salad from Sumo Salad, which is a really popular chain salad place in Australia. I sat down in the communal food court to eat my lunch, and on the first mouthful of lettuce, I thought, ooh, something isn't right. This feels weird in my mouth. It was like a weird stringy texture. I was like, this for sure is old lettuce and I did not want to eat this. But I'm weird and shy and was too scared to spit out my food in public because I thought everyone was looking at me. No one was. So I kept chewing and I swallowed some of it. But I was like, hell no, I do not want the rest of this mouthful in my tummy. There is something not right. So I spat out my food into a serviette. I then opened up my serviette and in my hand unraveled a huntsman spider with six legs. This is a huntsman spider. Down south, hood baby, hood baby, make all the girls go crazy, go crazy, go, 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 go,
Why your face mm. so ugly? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like club God say throw that ass. Mm. Random things you'll find at the Billy Studio. That's me. This is a multi-set production studio in LA that I own with my boyfriend and we build a bunch of props and sets and backdrops uh, for people to film in. Here's me holding a jacket and then I throw it on the ground because didn't know how else to do it. And then this is a car and a traffic light. This is the garage set, Jesus Raves, guys, in case you didn't realize, now we're on the retro set. And there's a couple of little Easter eggs in there like me looking like the freaking devil as a kid. Here's the games room, whoops. And here is a secret upstairs office loft with my boyfriend and an 80s inspired bathroom oh god i'm running out of breath i didn't think about this before i press record there's a 250 square foot psych wall and obviously a hot pink casket because well i don't know why but people like it and they want to shoot in it and here's me twerking in the dressing room uh. Sausage sizzle. How you going? They don't bloody know that we bloody know that they bloody know. I, Ross, take thee, Sheila. Emily. Emily. What's not to like? Custard. Good. Jam. Good. Meat. Bloody good. G'day, I'm Chandy. Make jokes when I'm feeling uncomfortable. Welcome back to another video of Australian versus American English might. Also, some slang in there. I know you guys love correct me with these, so here we go. Can't wait to. Okay, here we go. Jumping castle, bouncy house, wheelie bin, trash can with wheels, CBD, downtown, dunny, toilet, sacked, fired, jumper, sweater, flanny, flannelet. <laughs> I haven't said that full word basically my whole life. I don't even know if I pronounced it right. Flannelet shirt, you know the ones with the. Plaid shirt, that's what you guys call it, plaid shirt. <laughs> Ring, call, dibba dubba, tattletale, mucking around, playing around, <laughs> motorbike, motorcycle, ta, thanks, spider, equals float in America. I don't know why Australians call it a spider. Spider is like when you have eight legs and then also when you have ice cream in soft drink slash soda. Top bloke, Sheila, legend, mate, sausage, sizzle, bogan, hey, bloody, stupid, how's it going, mate? Feeding come, mate. I'm an Aussie, mate. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Bored in the motherfucker in the house board and I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house board. Bored in the house, bored in the house board. Bored in the house, bored in the house board. I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house board. Okay, first of all, don't hate on this person because they're just pointing out the obvious, but every single day since I was like a teenager, I've been asked, why are my arms and shoulders so big? Wow. I don't bloody know. Some of the most common questions I get are, why do you lift so much? It's impossible for me to lift too much because I've never lifted. I have never used gym equipment. I have never been to the gym. I will not go to the gym because I hate exercise and fitness. Am I a swimmer? No. Am I a boxer? No. Oh, well, I'm not, but sometimes I do stunt work where I pretend to be one. Am I trans? No. What is your workout routine? Nothing. I sleep in and just eat chocolate every day because it makes me really happy. 
How did you get your big arm? Maybe it's from dancing for 22 years? Maybe I was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yes, my shoulders have been too broad for some jobs. For real, I am a professional dancer and it turns out dancing gives you muscle definition. Oh!